Uh, I, I like the rough days. Rain pounding and big seas crashing over the bow and pulling lobsters out of traps and you're sliding all over the boat and you have to tie the lobster tank up to the other side so it doesn't crush you. Uh, yeah, those are fun days. They don't talk, so it would be more of, you know, uh, trying to get me kind of a thing. But if it's my best day, he won't. And one band goes on, the other goes on, and you get thrown, thrown in a tank with 800 of your friends. I'd say a person without hands. Yeah, actually, there is. Uh, I was on a little skiff going to Islesboro across a major shipping channel, and lobsters dry out, so you have to dip them. Yeah, we had two lobsters for dinner, my friend Sarah and I, and a uh, party lobster and his gay buddy. And uh, we, we lost this gay buddy overboard, and we're pretty sure he didn't make it. <laughs> so that one's going to haunt me for a while. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Ah, uh, just getting ready to have a ton of eight-year-old sex, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. That's a tricky question. I'm going to go with uh, cesium when it breaks down. Um, that's what makes up the atomic clock. and it's, So you can measure how cesium atoms break down, and uh, it's the most accurate way we have of telling time. Either, you know, too drunk to think or asleep. Beers or beards? Uh, wash me for sure. Things gross. Uh, you know, that it doesn't really relate to my degree. Um, I, that's more of a mad scientist thing. There's some feasibility issues there. <laughs> Any specific building? Just my favorite. Oh, Chef Boyardee raviolis. Those are garbage. Lobsters are stupid. <laughs>